Hi everyone, this is just a short preview of the software for the pick and place machine. It is split into a couple of different applications um, that are all called from the main program. Besides the main program, there's the CUT software. It's used for simulation. The scriptable importer is used to import different types of centroid files. And there are a couple of other applications mainly used to define part packagings. For this demonstration I've prepared a little PCB in Altium Designer. Its size is 80 by 50 millimeters and I've already prepared the Gerber and Centroid files. The first step is to define the PCB in the CUT software. We enter a PCB name the size of the PCB. You can also enter an offset in X or Y direction. You can rotate the PCB in counterclockwise direction. A little dot at the side of the PCB shows the origin. And you can also mirror the PCB in X or Y direction. Now it's time to import the Gerber files. In Altium Designer the extension is GTL for the top layer. Now you can see that the Gerber pads only are placed on the PCB. For later automatic alignment of the PCB you can define fiducial parameters. The fiducials are shown in light blue on the PCB. Now you are ready to save the PCB. Now we are in the main pick and place program. The upper part shows the centroid and part data, while the lower part is still under construction. It's now time to import the centroid file prepared in Altium Designer before. We are using a script for the top layer. The centroid file is a CSV file in a specific Altium Designer format and the scripter will convert it to a format that is compatible with the pick and place software, skipping all the components on the bottom side. Let's take a short look at the scripter software that is called from the main program. Scripts are written in Pascal and there are specific commands for parsing CSV or other separated files. As an output, the scripter creates a file that is compatible with the pick and place software, containing only the necessary data. It is also simple to convert the units used in the file. This is a file that is created by the script. It contains the part designator, the value, the case and the centroid coordinates. Back in the main program we have to fill out the part case that has to be used. We can use a part translation file for this. This translation file translates part names used in Altium Designer to part names used in the pick and place library. Now you can see that all part case information is filled in. Let's have a brief look at the part translator files. They contain information on the footprint name used in your CUT system and or the value used and the part to use in the pick and place cut library. Back in the main program you can use a couple of keys to mark parts as skip or place 
or to wait for the operator. If you skip them, they are marked in gray and you can later sort them to the end of the grid. The next thing to do is to assign parts to specific feeders. This is done in the part details dialog. On its left side you can see the part information, on the right side there's the feeder or stack information. The first part to assign is an FTDI part that is delivered in tubes, so it must be placed on the vibratory feeder. You can see that only the yellow slots can be used because the red ones are not wide enough. The next part is an AVR that is delivered on a tray, so we have to use a tray and we can assign it to a tray. Next parts are 0805 resistors that are delivered on a reel, so they are placed on a feeder. You can see that we can place them on all feeder plots that are marked yellow, not on the ones marked red because they are too wide. We could assign a single part, but we can also assign all parts with the same value at once. Next part and the other parts are 2K2 resistors. The first slot is already in use, so let's use the second slot for all parts. Now all parts are assigned and you can see that the software jumps to the right feeder in the right location. You can also define placement speed for each part and the reject bin that is used when the part does not pass a vision or vacuum test. The current part is the AVR, placed on a tray and we can define the start position on the tray. We can also view the tray, zoom in using the mouse wheel and check the rotation of the part in the tray. If the rotation is not correct, we can change it. Please note that pin 1 is marked in darker gray. Looking at the part in a feeder, we can also preview the feeder and see both parts in slot 0 and 1. Looking at the FTDI part on the vibratory feeder, we can also preview this feeder and see its location and rotation. There is also text information on each part on each feeder available. After all parts have been assigned correctly, there is no red cell left on the grid. For simulation we have to select the PCB that we prepared before. Simulation is currently under construction. Here is a preview of the place PCB. If you move the mouse over a component, you get detailed information on the bottom of the window. You can check the rotation of each part and check if the whole placement will be correct. Thanks for watching. The software will be available on my website when it's ready. It's currently under construction.